G'day mates, with Sleep HQ Pro dropping tomorrow, I know many of you who use O2 rings will be very keen to jump in there and sync up your ring with your Sleep HQ Pro account, and today I'll show you how. Now if you'd like to join the O2 revolution, Sleep HQ now has its very own O2 ring with custom firmware specifically designed for our app, which I'll show you in just a moment. Now tomorrow's Black Friday, so we will be having a massive Black Friday sale on our brand new website, which also drops tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. I'll put some info in the description down below. First, Apple users. You guys can download our Sleep O2 app directly from the App Store, connect it to your Sleep HQ account for full wireless sync. What does that mean? You just wear your O2 ring, take it off, and then all that information will transfer from the app directly to your Sleep HQ account for viewing alongside your CPAP therapy data. Now for Android users, please don't hate me. We really want an Android app, but the truth is mobile app development is really expensive and we're currently broke AF. <laughs> All right, we have no money left. So your process is a manual export and import to Sleep HQ via a third party app called Vi Health, and I'll run you through that. All right, mates, now I'll put links to both apps in the description down below, so just click those links. And here we are on the App Store with our brand new Sleepo2 app. Tears of joy running down my face. It's a really proud moment. All right, here it is. Now, if you'd like to give us a five-star rating, <laughs> go for your life. Currently, we've got two ratings and no prizes for guessing who those ratings are from. Me and Adam, of course. All right, but have a little look through there, guys, and then just download to your phone. It will ask for permission to connect to Bluetooth. So connect to Bluetooth and then connect to O2 ring. Click your O2 ring and it's connected and then just swipe down and we're on. So here we have it right now in real time, my blood oxygen level and heart rate. A very healthy 98%, that's great. Heart rate a little high, 86, but that's because I'm obviously so excited about what I'm sharing with you today. Now if we come across to the chart tab, we can also check out our O2 charts, if we have any data, you might not have any data on your O2 ring just now, but if you do, then all that information will load into the app automatically. But let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's connect up a Sleep HQ account. So go to settings, up the top here, connect now, Sleep HQ. And then just put in your Sleep HQ details. Sign in and you're connected, it's as easy as that. Now let's do a live demonstration now. With my Sleep HQ profile, I'm on the data import section. I'll bring it forward. I'm gonna take off the ring here and you'll see the data automatically appear in my account. All right, you ready? The moment of truth, let's do it. So take off the ring. It will do a little countdown here. We're syncing now. There you go, we're downloading saved data. Done. Now let's have a look, here it goes. There it is, November 24th, 3.39 p.m. Right, the data has synced with my Sleep HQ account. So if I come up here now to the dashboard, and there it is. <laughs> There's the information right there, ready to go. Really cool stuff. And here's how the O2 ring data looks combined with CPAP therapy data on the Sleep HQ dashboard. So up the top here, we have all our CPAP therapy statistics. We have our pressure trace, the flow trace. We can zoom in and see exactly how good or bad our breathing is. Sorry about that, David, not looking too good here. And if we scroll down, we now have these three new charts from the O2 ring added to the dashboard. We've got the pulse rate, boom, 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 boom. We've got the SpO2, which is the blood oxygen level, so important, and also some movement data to see how we're moving around during sleep, to see how restless we are. So I can look at this right now, and I can see at this moment here, I'll zoom in, have a look at the blood oxygen levels. See these great big dips? It's not what you want. Now I know what you're all thinking. Yep, Nick, I can see the dips here. I can see that my oxygen is dropping from 97 down to 90, down to 87 here, down to 85 here. What's this one? 85 again. I can see right there, it's clear as day, 
that my oxygen levels are not nice and stable up at 97. They are dropping down and they are dropping down because obviously there's no air getting into my lungs. I can understand that. But what do I need to do to fix that? Right? That's the big question. That's what everyone wants to know. And that's why we have the Sleep HQ Pro Community Forum. So I can guide you and show you exactly what you need to do, exactly what to look for, but also exactly what to do with the settings on your device to change that, to fix that. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So that you're not waking up constantly from these big oxygen drops. You're gonna add about five years to your life. Now let's take a look at the Vi Health Android app and we'll do an export and upload to Sleep HQ. Cheers. All right, so here we are on the Vi Health Android app. I'll click my ring. Now to export, just choose one of the files. Come up here to the top right and click share as CSV. You'll then need to share that to your computer, your iPad, whatever it is, in order to drag that file, that CSV file, up to Sleep HQ. All right, so I'll just share it across to my computer. Now on your Sleep HQ profile, just come down to data imports on the left menu. Make sure you select the correct machine type. So O2 ring here, and then just drag and drop the file into the folder. Begin upload. And now if we go to the dashboard, the 11th of November, here we go. There's the import done. So there you have it guys, a few more steps for the Android users to get their O2 data into Sleep HQ, but hopefully soon we've got a little bit of money, we can hire some kick-ass app developers to build us an awesome Android app. Until next time guys, sleep well, look after your mates, and we'll see you soon, bye.